When I buy things, people generally ask what I collect, and I don't really collect pocket watch stands, but I wanted some for my watches. So then I went out and bought unusual ones because I like to buy things that are different. This is a little bit more sophisticated piece, uh, probably made in the late 17, early 1800s. Uh, this is a Chinese type of motif that's on a uh, lacquer, what they call this lacquerware, that you would hang your watch on. Again, you would attach it here. This, this one's a little too thick or you have to bend this clasp out and I don't want to do that. But this type of lacquerware was popular in the late 17 and early 1800s and could have been made in Japan or it could have been made in England, could have been made in China. Um, but it's typical black lacquer over some wood. Uh, it could even be paper mache under there. But uh, it's a nice little place to display your watch and be able to use it in the house while your home and then you just take it off of the stand and carry it with you. Here's another piece that's made to hang a watch. This was probably made during or post Civil War on the US. It looks like something that would have been made in the South because it's it's heavy. Typically things are uh, more petite with their lines and how they're made if they're made in the North. It looks like a piece of southern walnut, and it looks like it's related to a soldier or Civil War veteran because it has a bullet on top. Could also be the Spanish-American War, but it's a pretty neat piece. But uh, you'll see pieces of this period on eBay uh, where they get heavier. They typically can sell in the three to five hundred dollar range. Um, this one I picked up for somewhat less than $95. It's mark, marked on the back, still with the tag I left on at 95 And it had a cute little saying on the back that somebody had, again, written under here um, on the bottom, put your 100-year watch, put your 100-year watch here made from 200-year walnut. So we guessed right it is made out of walnut. And you could probably guess the year that this was sent to the guy. Um, that it has some Boys Town seals on the bottom. So very possibly made for a guy that participated in the Civil War, the Spanish-American War. Here's a really well-made stand that um, is made of iron to look like bronze and it's really well casted. If you can see the detail in the castings, it's done very fine like bronze. This was probably made in Germany uh, with the quality of the castings in the early 1800s. And again, holds the watch up here. Uh, it's made probably for the American market with the eagle that we have here. And with enough research, we may be able to figure out who made it. But uh, certainly that eagle is for the American market. Um, the casting is not quite as fine on the back. But it is car it was carved uh, for the casting on the back to show the feathers and everything, and it's not flat. And on the bottom, the dead giveaway, it's not bronze, is the rust where the bolt has rubbed the paint. And that we are looking at a piece of iron, although it's a very good iron work, it is iron. If it was bronze, it wouldn't rust.